We're here at the Red Reef, Reef. Trail. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. And uh, yeah, the cameras, the photographers, photographer, photographer. <laughs> but we're a bit late. Late. It's like 8 a.m. and it's hot. So we'll try to be. Well, we just have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, Eliana's everything. If you want to visit St. Churchita, specifically the Red Cliffs National Conservation Area, we'll share some information who those people who love nature, walking, or of course those people who hike. Because I thought in the website <laughs> that is like like easy but when i'm actually with my friends we just look and live young it's really like strenuous like gosh <laughs> but it's like pretty it's like it's a big big place that's why it's like a big area <laughs> The photographers are there at the back. <laughs> I'm like the vlogger. <laughs> are you the professional content creator? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My friends, well, when we look about it and when we research about it, but we never deep, it will be easy. But the one we pursue, like in the further in the place in that hike, trail it's really 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 hard for for us probably because we just like further and we just want to have fun explore <laughs> and you dub is really pretty and it's so beautiful parking in the red cliffs recreation area is limited and thus quickly early on the weekends especially in the spring and fall but for us not really because it's summer it's too hot the largest lot with about 30 spaces is accessible after driving through the red cliffs campground loop road of course the first part of the hike crosses through an open area as it dips down and crosses over a couple of small dry creek beds. It's an easy trail to follow for all hikers and our families. It's hike that most young children pregnant mothers if you want to just like relax and just walk and senior citizens can do without problems in the spring it is common to see some wading pools along the trail oh, yeah, it's <laughs> a bit far yeah <laughs> got it got it <laughs> teamwork teamwork <laughs> thanks look <laughs> i know right <laughs> Hi, <my name. laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. For a photo, then. Are you good at um, photo processing? What is that? <laughs> 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 what is that look? And can provide great 
fun for hikers. Jumping and diving into any pool is not recommended and is done at the own risk. Also, during the spring, small runoff cascades can be flowing through the canyon. You know, we are just trying to actually, um, what is that? To go there? How to say that? To grab that rope. Yeah, we need to go the other one because look, we, we're not sure if it's so deep and it's we just had a little bit dirty. <laughs> not dirty, but it's just there's not a lot of like. Oh. This is the only one. Grab the rope. But there, we cannot like walk here. Uh, I can see it. Yeah, it here. Uh -huh. all the way mm -hmm. That's the problem. This is the hardest for me to hike ever in my life. So that if you can see in my video, the right are the Moki steps. That is the one you can see in my video, which are hand and foot hoods that have been curved into the soft sandstone to aid hikers in getting around the main runoff of the Red Reef Trail. It will be always beautiful if there is like really really water because it's not there's no not not too much a lot of water because it's summer. <laughs> well there are a couple of six to eight foot dry falls or waterfalls depending on the season that can be a little challenging to bypass. Most of the hikers had that get to this Oh my god, I cannot vlog at this moment when it's like very adventurous here. <sighs> it's so strong! <laughs> it is the most fun <laughs> I know ever. This is like my ever <laughs> adventurous exploring <laughs> hiking. Take a break here they have a snack or lunch then turn around and head back to the trailhead or you can stop furthermore like me and my friends there are some hikers that continue up the canyon as it goes for another couple of miles that's why we did however hikers have seen the best the canyons has to offer of this point of the hike but sure to take plenty of pictures landscape portrait and square as the light in the canyon is constantly changing the compositions of your photographs gosh this is really Don't slippery even if i have my Doesn't really really my beautiful and i show. love my <laughs> my rubber shoes but this one oh my god look look you can do it, Div. I believe. Right? <laughs> Letting you know that if you have kids in tow, you should check out the City Creek area within the Red Cliffs Reserve. If you are looking for a bigger challenge, be sure to spend a little time in the Red Reef, Red Mountain, or Milk Creek areas. It's in a Oh my god, the spots where you will find true desert wilderness conditions which is means you need to bring ample water and a lot of more energy. Red Cliffs Desert Reserve is 60,000 contains a one-of-a-kind conversance of multiple different desert ecosystems jaw-dropping scenery and protected species seldom seen elsewhere we pursue well because there's a lot of trail but what we pursue is the red drift trail which is 5.7 miles in length difficult which is very strenuous this is a tale of two trails which is the upper red drift trail accessed through the Red Cliffs Recreations area, lower Red Reef Trail access from the Cottonwood Trailhead. Going to visit in Utah, it's better to actually like hike or visit in the spring and fall because if it's afternoon, temperature are very hot. If it's summer, because me and my friends we do that in summer, and the she may completely dry up. And if I see, of course, in the website, in your 
phone and social media oh my god it's so pretty photos but at this moment of course that's why it's summer and that's why it's dry up of the water However, if we're going to do summer it will be mornings can be spent and it is great fun to play in the stream during warm weather climb around the waterfall and then slide down the natural shoot well, the trailhead is at Red Cliffs Campground, a very nice little camping area where there are plenty of rocks for kids to climb on. Cottonwood trees provide shade, water and restroom are available. And if you're going to reach the campground, drive 15 to the town of Lulis, which is 15 miles north of St. George, and then follow the frontage road south to Quail Lake. Watch for the Red Cliff sign and follow the paved road under the freeway and up to the campground. Ah! Ah, Dave, hi! How was it? It's good. We're at the top now. Yeah, we never know that it should be a moderate look, right? How was it look? Only 200 feet of elevation. <laughs> this is like a really hard. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. But it's so hot now, it's like, what time is it? It's about to be 11, 11 10.30. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Look, I know. Me and my friends did not know that there's a waterfall because we are new to visit in this place but if it's fall or spring it's pretty but at this moment it's summer however you can still explore further because it's a big place in this trail yeah nice. here you go here thank you I love ah, there's a photo bumper oh, yeah, <laughs> Louder! Eliana's everything! <laughs> 10 new followers. <laughs> We're here in Utah! Say enjoy! Yeah. Finally! Yay! <laughs> How was it? <laughs> well, that was fun. Very unexpected. Yeah. Really? Unexpected. Yeah. Completely. Like, it should be like one hour. But what? Like how many hours did they actually like walk? And about three and some change now. Three hours? Oh my god. Three hours? Oh, more, more than that, I think so. Uh, well, nah, because it's 11.15 now and we left at like 8. Uh -huh. so right around three hours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so far. And, oh the other one. Yeah. The other one. We jumped into the first one that we saw. Uh -huh. We walk here, not that one. We never know that we'll be like in the old trails. It should be like moderate, but oh my god, it's like hard. <laughs> that would have been impossible. I know. <laughs> We're leaving a bad yoke. <laughs> yeah. So this one, I'm not sure if I'm going to hike again later. It's just so hot at this moment. And then. I'm not sure I'm gonna. Not today. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm not even sure. There's a like a couple, and then there's a baby, and I don't know where she or them. So, this is our day two in Utah, St. George. So, fun day. Well, it's like the first time for me ever that it will be my hardest. <laughs> I can't ever. I never knew that I'm going to do like rock like climbing now. We, we didn't either. In your right? <laughs> and I'm happy with my shoes. Well, $100 they are. Shoes. <laughs> She's in love with the shoes. Yeah. Ah, I love my shoes you because I I shoes. don't I don't do exercise. They do exercise. They're like they very strong. Yeah. yeah. Ah, let's see. So yeah, Saturday. Sunday, oh my gosh, yeah.